Hi, I'm Anders Hansen, and you might know me as the, uh, the plastics guy from the co-op. Um, I run some uh, plastic collection services uh, through being a community collector for Lane County. Um, and today, I'm going to talk about recycling in general, and more specifically, I'm going to talk about plastics. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the plastic services available through the mun municipality. Um, that's through uh, Lay's uh, garbage pickup, your curbside recycling. Um, and through these services, you can recycle cardboard, you can recy recycle paper products. Uh, this is high grade office paper, um, this is magazines, uh, and newspapers. And, and uh, uh, take note that you can't actually recycle mat board. Now you might be wondering like, mat board? Okay, like that's that's a fibrous paper material, but um, looks can be deceiving. If you if you take some, some mat board, not all mat board, you take it and you dunk it in some water and you let it sit there and let the fibers saturate and you go to pull them apart, some of these are lined with plastic. So they can't really actually put those plastic lined mat board into the plastic recycling, um, no, into the paper recycling, excuse me, um, because then the plastic just gums up their materials and they can't recycle the paper. So oh, please keep Matt Board out of the paper recycling. There's my little did about that. Um, and then, uh, you know, of course, you got your glass recycling. Uh, you you want to keep the glass separate because that could gum up the later processes of the real recycling. Uh, no, no lids or corks in the glass and whatnot. And then, um, and then you've got your cans, your tin and aluminum cans, you know, bean cans and, and, and that kind of material. And then finally, you have your plastics. Uh, our plastics are quite a bit reduced from some years prior um, uh, uh, when China was picking up plastic material. Uh, now um, uh, recyclers have had to streamline into plastics that they know that they can recycle. And uh, for, uh, for our municipality, it's uh, screw tops. So we're talking about number ones and number twos which are the numbers, if you, if you flip over the material, you can see this number, uh, this reads number one, and then below it has, uh, uh, here it's a four digit code, P-E-T-E, -E, polyethylene, uh, and it's a screw top. So this is a number one recyclable material, um, label on or off, it doesn't matter for the municipality. Uh, and then we have right over here, this is another number one, this is also recyclable, uh, label doesn't matter. And then over here, we have a number two. Uh, this is also a screw top, all these three, all of them are recyclable. Uh, you can also recycle water jugs or um, uh, other screw top bottles. Uh, you might be noticing that over here, we have a big old cluster of plastic, lid included, um, that can't be recycled in our municipality. And that's where the Roundup steps in. Now our Roundup, uh, we take three types of plastics. We take twos, fours, and fives. Um, and we take them, uh, uh, we are very, very picky on these materials. Uh, and the reason why is um, that these materials are getting shipped all the way up to Portland over to Denton Plastics. Uh, and what Denton does is they take industrial waste byproduct from plastic manufacturing. And they, they take that and then they, um, uh, they chip it for reuse. So they aren't used to any labels. They, they deal with no labels, no food products. They're dealing with absolutely pure plastics. So to keep a good thing going and to make sure that this can go into the future, uh, we, we only accept very, very clean plastics. Um, and like I said before, twos, fours, and fives. So I'm gonna run through some of the plastics we have here and just uh, talk a little bit about them. Um, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, so first of all, we don't take number one. So this, this we can recycle at our curbside pickup. This, you notice uh, it's number one. This is a clamshell. These are referred to as clamshell containers. Um, it's a number one that isn't a screw top. Can't go on the curbside. And uh, we don't collect number one. So this is actually uh, trash. There's no, as of now, we don't have a good recycling avenue for these vessels, which is a crying shame because they're so prolific. And they're such a great way to store uh, leafy greens and berries and other agricultural products. But sadly, we can't take these. 
what we can take is um, these materials over here. I just have a random collection. And um, actually right here, th this looks like a number five from experience, but there's no, there's no number on it. Can't take it. So this, this again, sadly, it's trash. Um, but these over here, these are all acceptable. These are some examples of acceptable plastics. Lids are great. I have, uh, I have some five lids, I have some two lids, and uh, um, a four lid right here. So those we accept. Over here we have a Nancy's. Nancy's is great. Any Nancy container we can take. Curbside can't, but we can take them. Uh, Nancy's is now fives, uh, but they were twos, and any of those we can take, no problem. Um, we want to make sure, what I like to say is queen, uh, oh, excuse me, I always mess this up. Clean enough for the queen. So if you were to serve the Queen of England um, in, in a, you know, a plastic container, some like delicious curry or something, you want to make sure that is sparkling, sparkling clean. Uh, right here, we do have we do have a little bit of um, material left over. I don't know. You'll probably not be able to see that. Um, and we're looking for this with a super sharp eye. So uh, we're, make sure it's clean. Um, and like I said before, no labels. So even though these have labels, these labels are printed on, you, you can see that you can't really like peel it off. However, something like um, something like this, that's definitely a label. While this is good for the curbside, uh, we don't accept uh, things with labels. Um, and sometimes the labels can be tricky. Um, if any of you use Chibani, uh, Chibani had the brilliant idea of um, having a wrapped label, which is great for keeping a pure plastic product for recycling but it's easy to forget those things can actually get pulled off uh, before they're contributed to our plastic stream. Um, other tips for those of you that are looking to recycle plastics with our, um, with our plastic um, program, um, make sure that you're, uh, if you want it to go fast, easy, and simple, pre-sort your plastics. If you have your plastics in pre-sorted bags, you drop them off, we give a quick peruse through, we know that you've already gone through them once um, to make sure, so that makes our job a little bit easier and uh, we can send you on a, your way a lot faster. Um, a lot of times bringing commingled plastics, that's gonna take some, quite a bit of effort and time for us uh, to sort through and there might be some rejectable plastics that you have to take home. Um, now, this is a great program, uh, this, this program, but ideally uh, programs like these would not have to exist. Um, ideally, uh, people, the producers of these plastics would have to pay um, to establish programs for them to be recycled. And I'm happy to announce that um, Oregon passed a new legislation called the, uh, excuse me here, Plastic Pollution and Recycling Modernization Act. Now this is absolutely incredible. Um, and what it, what it does is it says, people that are producing plastic for um, packaging, or let's say like plastic silverware and things of that matter, uh, these single-use plastics, um, they have to contribute to a um, to a producer responsibility organization, um, or PRO for short. Uh, basically what these organizations are meant to do is, um, let's say you're making like number fives or something. So you, you send it to the number five uh, PRO organization, and they take this money and they help establish um, uh, programs, both um, urban programs, multifamily programs, apartment programs, and rural programs uh, to get these plastics rounded up and uh, uh, shipped to responsible recyclers and then responsible end product manufacturers. So this is closing the route, loop for recycling um, uh, and, and it's absolutely an incredible thing. Uh, it's uh, it's going to go online um, right around 2025. So they're, they're taking their steps up there and hopefully by 2025 we'll have this program in effect and therefore uh, small community ran programs like these will be of less importance. But yeah, that's the plastic recycling and um, uh, we'll, we'll post, uh, we'll have a link to that, um, to that new legislation I was talking about as well as um, emails for any of you uh, looking to ask questions about this system. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope uh, this is beneficial.